guys and welcome to the Disney cruise packing vlog. I am so excited that I finally get to film this one. We have been looking forward to this cruise for so long. Um, and a little bit of background, if you're just joining my channel, hello, my name is Paige. My husband John and I are going on a Disney cruise. Actually, we leave today. Um, we leave this evening to fly down to Orlando and our cruise actually leaves tomorrow. Monday, so today's Sunday, um, and we are celebrating our fifth wedding anniversary with this cruise. So our actual anniversary was just a few days ago on April 8th, so we are looking forward to celebrating on board the Disney Dream. So we are headed to the Bahamas, we're going to stop at Nassau, Castaway Key, and then we have a day at sea. And this will be our first cruise ever. Um, I have a little bit of experience cruising, but that was way back in 1999 on the Disney Magic when it was really kind of in its inaugural sailings and when Disney Cruise Line first started. So I do remember that being lots of fun as a little kid, but I'm very excited to see what it's like as an adult and I'm sure lots has changed since then. So. Anyways, that's our trip itinerary. If you wanna follow along with some upcoming vlogs that will be popping up here in the next few days or weeks, um, just depending on how quickly I can turn around the vacation vlog, you can hit that subscribe button and follow along. But for now, let's check out what I'm packing as a Disney Cruise first timer, kind of. And before I jump into what all is laid out for my suitcase, I wanted to show you that I created this little Disney Cruise packing checklist. So I watched lots and lots of YouTube videos on what to pack. I read so many different blogs and looked on Pinterest and I kind of combined everyone's knowledge of cruising and Disney cruises specifically into my checklist here. So I created this template in Canva. Um, if I can, I will share it with you in a link down below. Um, if not, I'm sure that you could easily recreate it yourself as well. So I just have lots and lots of items listed out here. So I've got our clothes, or this is just for me, my clothes, shoes, important documents that we need to bring along, toiletries, and then on the back, I've got backpack carry-on items, cruise essentials, and then I will add two post-it notes here of things that we need to grab as we head out the door. Um, maybe things that can't be packed right now, like a hot curling iron or whatever it might be. Um, and then some final checks on the house, you know, making sure things are locked up and good to go before we head out. So um, this is really helpful to me. I never pack without making a checklist. And what I'll do is as I put it on the bed, I've put a check in the box. And then once it actually physically goes in the suitcase, I completely cross it off of the list. So that is kind of my method for packing and making sure that I don't forget any of the essentials. And here's how that checklist translates to everything that I currently have laid out on my guest bed. I've got my suitcase over there in the corner. So I'm going to quickly show you what all I am packing and then get that loaded up into my suitcase so we can stay on track and stay on time today. So for our meals, we are going to be doing some adult dining and some of the regular dining rotations. So for our regular dining rotation nights, I have a couple of blouses paired with some shorts. I've got a white pair and then just a regular light wash denim. For one of our breakfasts, we are going to um, be at Paolo. That's an adult dining only location. Um, and we're gonna be doing a wonderful brunch there. So I have this little midi dress and then this lightweight wrap just to keep my shoulders warm in case it is particularly chilly in the restaurant. And then if it's cold up on deck or in our stateroom or wherever we are um, and I'm just wearing casual clothes, I'm gonna be wearing this sweatshirt. This is brand new. I just got it from Blair Lamb Design over on Etsy and Blair also has an amazing YouTube channel with lots of Disney stuff, um, Disney Cruise stuff as well. So if you are looking for more information, definitely head on over and check her stuff out as well. But I'm so excited to be wearing this. I think it reminds me of Mickey Mouse as well, where he says, see you real soon. So I like, I really just, I just really like this design. I think it's lots of fun. And then I have a jean jacket that has some, quite a bit of distressing on the collar. So that's why I wanted to pack something a little nicer for those adult locations because they do have a dress code. 
Um, for embarkation day, I have a cute little cotton dress from Target that I just got. I really like that one. For some casual wear, just kind of walking around the boat or sitting in our stateroom, quickly going to breakfast, whatever it might be. I have a few cotton t-shirts. One more is coming out of the wash. Um, it was one of those last minute wash items. But this one is from Zippity Tees. It says, fish are friends, not food. So I thought that was appropriate for, <laughs> appropriate for a cruise, a little Finding Nemo quote there. And then on the back of the collar, it actually says, um, in the big blue world. So that is a song from the Finding Nemo ride at Epcot and then the show over at Animal Kingdom. And then this one is from Target. I believe this one is Wild Fable. I got it a few years ago, but it's just kind of like a beachy, beachy scene. So I'm going to add one more Disney tee to that pile um, just so that I have a few comfy outfits to walk around in. I've got two swimsuits here. This is a two-piece, and then I have um, a little one-piece down there. I shared that one in a recent vlog. That one is from Kohl's. I've got a hat, obviously, to protect uh, my eyes and my skin when we are um, up on deck during the day or we're out at Castaway Key. Hat is always very helpful. And then I've got some more casual clothes here, some athletic shorts. I have a skirt down there, and then this is a skirt with just kind of an athletic top that I got from Costco, and I really like this brand. I think it's Mundetta. Um, they have some really good little tops and joggers as well that I like. I've got two swim cover-ups here. This one is kind of like a spaghetti strap style. This one covers my shoulders completely. So I like to have one of each um, because my shoulders do burn very easily. And if we are on the ship, um, I will probably be wearing the one that covers more of my shoulders. And then on Castaway Key, if we can be under an umbrella, I'll wear this one. Um, I, we are bringing our snorkel masks and snorkels. I highly recommend that if you're going to purchase a snorkel, um, if you're going to go to the Caribbean and snorkel for the next 10 years, even if you only go a couple more times, buy yourself a snorkel. It just really doesn't take up that much space in your suitcase. It's long. It's kind of pliable, so you can bend the bottom part. Plus, you know, you're the only one using it. So what I would recommend is that you go on Amazon and look for the ones that have this valve. So what will, what will happen is if water gets in here, basically the valve closes. So you are not suddenly inhaling water. And that's really helpful too if you have kids that are learning how to snorkel. Um, they won't be gagging and choking up a bunch of salt water, which is kind of alarming for them and for adults as well if you're just learning for the first time. So highly recommend these ones. This is mine. I'm not sure if I'll be able to find the same one on Amazon, but I know John got his off of Amazon a few years ago. And my mask, I actually got at a scuba diving snorkel shop, but I also highly recommend that if you have kids and the masks, really the plastic bothers um, you or your kids, like on your head or behind your ears. These ones are so much better and it's Velcro adjustable straps. It's super soft. Um, these are just like a neoprene material. So highly recommend that you go and just get a couple of these. If you're planning on going to the Caribbean in the next few years, just grab yourself a snorkel mask or a snorkel at the very least. Um, I don't have fins, but they're easy to pack. So that's my little spiel on snorkels. But um, I also have a surf shirt. Again, this protects my shoulders and my back when we're snorkeling. And then I have some shorts as well, um, just because I feel like more sun protection is good. I have a cute little pair of pajamas. These are from Costco. I love them. It's a little short set. And then I'm going to move on over to the other side. Gus is going to help show off what we've got going on over here, which is just a lot, <laughs> a lot of different pouches. But I do find that with travel, having a pouch or a place for everything just keeps everything much more organized. I'm not fishing around for it, and I know that everything has a place. So let me show you what is in all of this stuff. So this one is our essentials pouch. I'm not going to open it up. This is from Target Dollar Spot a couple of years ago, and I think around the spring and summertime is when they'll put out their travel items. So be on the lookout because I really love this. It has a nice little wristlet, fits really well into most backpacks. 
John is going to carry this one for us um, on the flight. And that way we have everything, obviously, that's really critical to us getting on board the ship tomorrow, you know, right, right next to us, in front of us. So um, it's got our passports, our vaccination cards, some paperwork. We needed a QR code to actually get into the port because we have a port arrival time. So all of that is in here. Next bag is kind of another essential bag for the cruise. This is for motion sickness. So I am a little nervous about it. Um, I am someone who does get a little bit dizzy on boats um, and start, start to not feeling well. So I'm hopeful that we have smooth sailing and that I won't need this stuff, but I am well prepared and I did start to take this today. So I started to um, see on lots of the Disney Facebook cruise groups. Um, we I joined our cruise group for our actual cruise date. Somebody created it and then I'm a part of the Disney Cruise Line group as well. People really recommended this so I started taking it today which was also something they recommended. It's Bonine or Bonine. I'm not sure how you pronounce it but it is a preventative and hopefully you know by taking it today in advance of the trip my body will kind of start to you know adjust and then once we set sail, it won't be such a shock. I do have some sleeping medication in here in case I just need to go to sleep because I'm feeling really poorly. Um, I've got some essential oils to help soothe and calm. Um, I've got the wristbands. I've got a non-medicated motion sickness patch. I think this one is just essential oils, really, and so it can go behind your ear um, or on your stomach, and it will just kind of help soothe some of that uncomfortable feeling. I have a little portable travel fan, the fan parts on the other side, um, because having nice airflow if you are not feeling well, particularly feeling dizzy, having that airflow is really important. And then this is Sudafed because I've had some head congestion for the past couple of days, but I am doing all right. And I know it's not COVID because I've taken a test. So that is everything in the cruise bag and this was also from Target Dollar Spot but I just put the decal on it and I did that on my Cricut. This is from Travelon. I use it for jewelry. Came in a pack of two and all of this jewelry is going to get packed in my suitcase this time. Typically I like to travel with it but I have a smaller carry-on backpack and so this will not fit but honestly all of this jewelry is just from Stitch Fix or Target so if it was lost I'd be disappointed but um, I you know, wouldn't be losing, you know, a pair of diamond earrings or something like that. So typically I do travel with that in my backpack, but this time it goes in the suitcase. If I was doing a carry-on, this would be my liquids bag. Um, this is going to get packed away though because I'm checking my bag. So this has some hand soap, liquid hand soap that I've put into one of these um, little travel containers. I've got hair products in here, Neosporin, moisturizer, um, some bathroom freshener because the cabins, stateroom uh, bathrooms are on the smaller side, but I do believe that people say the Disney ones are nice because they're split up. So we'll have to see how that goes for us, but just wanted to keep things nice and fresh. I've got eye, eye makeup remover and then these little flexible pouches I love. They're from the brand Kitsch and they have an excellent travel set. I highly recommend that you get them. Um, even if you check your bag all the time, but particularly for carry-ons, the liquids are super flexible in these pouches and it comes with like a little funnel and a scraper and all kinds of things to get all of your products into the little containers that they provide. So those are all my liquids. For the beach, I have this cute little scout bag that a student gave to me several years ago. So it's got all these cute little starfish on it. So it's perfect for the beach. Of course, we've got our sunscreen in here and it's important to us that we did reef friendly and that sunscreen works well for us and this is the matching facial sunscreen. I've got some um, hair detangler or leave-in hair conditioner because whenever I get in the ocean my hair gets super knotted. This was recommended on several of the cruise groups and in several YouTube videos, the Safe Sea sunscreen that is also a repellent um, for uh, sea lice and jellyfish. Um, so sea lice, people say it's 
Sometimes you can encounter them at Castaway Key, sometimes you won't. It sounds really gross, but they are just small baby jellyfish that hatch in the warmer waters. So, and they can get stuck under your swimsuit line and just make you kind of itchy. So, um, you know, it's, we're gonna see, but it doesn't hurt to use it because it's got 50 SPF. So, we will see, but it's good to have it. I've got a little travel um, wet brush here. And I've got some clips for our towels so that they don't blow away on the beach or up on the pool deck when we're on the ship. I think that's everything in the main compartment. And then it has, everything's falling out here. It has these little side compartments so you can slide stuff into. So I've got some lens wipes from Walmart. This came in like a pack of 200. Those are nice to have to clean off sunscreen. And then this is a waterproof phone case um, in case we want to take some footage in the water or we just want to protect our phones from the sunscreen and sand and, and all of that stuff that comes along with being at the beach. So I'm going to put that back together here. So that is everything that I will put in my beach bag. And I decided not to pack a beach bag for this trip um, because I'm hopeful that we will get a little tote bag um, from me being a Castaway Club member. So I didn't feel like we needed to pack an additional bag <laughs> in addition to all of these. This is my makeup. I just got one of these, you know, three fold ones. It's got a hanger on there if I want to hang it up, but I have a feeling I will probably sit at the desk and do my makeup outside of the um, sink area in our stateroom. So I can hang that up or lay it out, lay it out flat. And this e-bags packet flat is just more toiletries. I've got my toothbrush in here, deodorant, got this little, if I can weasel it out here, this little tiny um, Venus razor, which is super handy if you are packing light um, or you just don't want to bring your full-size razor. It's just this little one and it has disposable heads so you can change that out. Got some cotton um, eye pads for removing my makeup. My hairbrush is hidden in here. This is my Tangle Teaser Travel One. It has that nice little cover, so if there's any hair in there, it's not super yucky. I've got Band-Aids, Waterproof and Regular. Feminine Fun Stuff is in here, and then I've also got my makeup brushes in a little Sephora pouch just to kind of keep them all contained. And this e-bags packet flat also has a hook and then it has a mirror as well if we need to hang it up. But like I said, I'll probably use the desk. Last couple of items are for my carry-on bag. And I found this at Nordstrom Rack. This is a Longchamp bag and it actually folds up and like snaps. And you can see the little snap in the back. Folds up into like this little size. So if I don't want to use it the rest of the trip, if we get that cute little backpack for being Castaway Club member um, and I want to switch over to that, I can and this can go in my suitcase. But I'm trying to downsize a little bit because when we get on board, I'm going to have to carry whatever I have in my hands um, or have on my back for a little bit until our stateroom is ready to um, ready to go and they've cleaned it all up. So all of these items, I've already done it, all of these items right here fit into that bag in addition to my camera that I currently have in my hand. So I've got my sunglasses, my reading glasses, which I need to go find my case for, the book that I'm going to be reading on the trip, which I'm very excited to enjoy. I've got my um, chargers and batteries and all of that stuff for electronics in here and my vlogging stick um, fits perfectly right there and I've got these cute pouches these are from Amy Small World I saw several Disney youtubers um, have these on several of their trips whether it was Disney Cruise, Disneyland, Disney World and I've been wanting to get them and I finally pulled the trigger so I got this cute little set that I think matches really well. I got them individually, but it's kind of like a cute, cute little set here. So this one has um, a, an Apple Watch band that my brother got for me for Christmas. So I'm going to switch that out here in a moment. 
I've got some Disney jewelry, some luggage tags that we're going to put on our suitcase. And then this is a little card for the light switch in our room. And that is from um, Pixie Dusted Stitches. Um, I think that is the name of the Etsy shop. I will link it down below um, so that you guys can check that out. But it just has Minnie and Mickey and it says Disney Cruise Line on it. Uh, this bag has all of my Disney masks in it, and I will link the Etsy shop for the masks down below. I've got the black Mickey one, I've got a Minnie Mouse bow, and then another one that has um, like denim blue and Mickey on it. And then this is all flight essentials. So I've got AirPods, um, Advil, because like I said, my head has been hurting, hand cream, Purell, hair ties, lip balm, and this cute little coach wallet, which will have my ID. And then I'm going to put all of our Disney gift cards that we've been saving up into that wallet as well. And here's how that all looks inside of the bag. So it's nice and organized. I can pull any of those items out really easily and I don't have to fish around for a lip balm, a hair tie, a mask, whatever it might be. So again, this is gonna go in right on top with my camera and my vlogging stick will fit in this um, tech organizer. The only thing that I am not going to pack is my little uh, memory card holder here because there was plenty of space in the organizer for all of those cards. So this I think will be a great little travel bag. I like that it's kind of got this um, durable material on the outside so I can wipe it if I need to and it's just the perfect size for carrying stuff around on board the ship the first day or any other day afterwards. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this stuff into my packing cubes, get it loaded into my suitcase, and we'll keep moving. And real quickly, before I put these away into my packing cubes, these are my two dresses for Paolo and Remy. Those are the adult dining locations that we're gonna go to for dinner. All right, so everything is all packed up. This is gonna fit nicely, and I have a little extra room here and there for souvenirs or whatever else we might accumulate on our trip. So um, I'm very glad that I got my larger suitcase. This is a Samsonite suitcase. I have had it for quite some time, I think since college. So it has served me well, but it is a lot bigger than I remembered because I've been traveling with my away bag and I would like to get one of the larger away suitcases to match because I really like the split divider on that. But this is going to work great. I've got all my e-bags in here, which make it nice and easy for me to unpack. Got, you know, the packet flat, got my makeup case, and then all of my little containers and pouches kind of just slide down on in here and fit really well. And this is um, a Stitch Fix shoe bag um, that they send their shoes in. So I always keep them if I end up purchasing a pair of their shoes because they're perfect for travel, for keeping your shoes, your dirty shoes, away from your clean clothes and just all of the gunk that is on the bottom of a shoe. So I'm gonna zip this up and we are gonna head out the door. And here's one last look at that packing checklist. So you can see everything is crossed off. So that means it made it into the bag and whatever is circled, I added to the final checks and add-ons list. So I'm gonna grab this post-it Go downstairs and any of these items that I need to get or take care of, I will do right before we lock up the house. And naturally, right before we left, look what we discovered. We have a water leak and luckily John has diagnosed it and it's not, it's not something that's going to continue to leak. We've turned the water off, but oh boy. Luckily, our, also our carpet and couch and nothing else here was damaged. The water was still hanging out there in the ceiling, but our powder room is up there and it's something with the toilet. So we're going to have some family members keep an eye on this while we're away. But, you know, I guess we're glad it didn't happen while we were away because that would have been a lot worse. But... We are definitely pressed for time, so this is where the vlog is going to end, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the vacation vlogs. Bye!